Hey guys, Chad Hoover. So I posted the question on the community page, on the kayak bass fishing group, and on our members only page, and asked what videos it is that you guys wanted to see. One of the topics that surprised me was how do you launch a kayak? You know, it's one of those things when you've been doing it as long as I have, you kind of take for granted. But I'll tell you this, in the last three or four trips, I've seen a number of people either flip their kayak or almost flip their kayak by launching a set on top kayak uh, improperly. So I loaded up my Bonafide SS-127. We're gonna head over to a local lake. I'm gonna show you how to load and unload the kayak. I'm gonna show you my full setup, rigged uh, front to back on how I fish, both for fun uh, and how I fish for TV, travel, and my tournament setup. So again, thanks for the questions, but we're gonna head over to the water. I'm gonna show you how to launch a fishing kayak. <laughs> Don't you just love that sound? <laughs> I do. It says man, 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 man. So anyway, guys, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is, you know, the difference between tournament fishing, fishing for you know, television and marketing and just everyday uh, fishing. So what we're doing today is we're going to head to the water and I'm going to show you how I have my gear set up, how I transport my rods, how I leave my kayak configured when I'm just fishing around the house or if I'm making a little short run to the water. Um, intuitively, you would think it's the same, but it's not. There's some things that you have to kind of do a little differently. So not only is this going to be a how to launch your fishing kayak video, but it's also going to be a how I set my fishing kayak uh, up video at the same time. Talk about setting my rods up, talk about putting my power pole on, and I'm going to take the kayak and put it next to the water and show you how to, the easiest way to, uh, to launch and recover a fishing kayak. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to a little boat ramp that's out of the way off the side of uh, the road here on Old Hickory Lake near my home in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And uh, we're gonna do that so that we can steer clear of, you know, crazy traffic and all that good stuff. Um, but we'll talk about that once we get there. So this is uh, how to launch a fishing kayak. So before we go into the actual launching, let's talk about launch ramp etiquette for a second. First and foremost, if you notice when I pulled in, I didn't pull all the way to the water and I didn't pull up dead center of the boat ramp while I got all my gear ready. The best way to do this is to pull off to one side get your gear ready before you back up to the water or just unload your kayak and drag it on down to the water but stay out of the way should someone else come to the boat ramp and need to access it so anyway there's a thing called don't be that guy so really when it comes down to it as kayak anglers we represent our community so when you come to a boat ramp stay off to one side don't block the ramp definitely don't be that guy for those of you that may have watched my videos in the past i'm not going to cover how to tie the kayak down but I definitely have covered that in the past, so I'll link to that up at the top. I'll also link to that in the description box, so you, if you have questions about how to safely tie down and transport your kayak, I'll, uh, I'll link to that video right here. But while I'm talking about that, one thing you'll notice is that when I'm traveling local, I keep my black pack in the back of the boat, I keep my power pole uh, unit installed, I fold it forward and take the battery pack off so I don't run it down. Then when I get to the water, all I have to do is loosen it up, fold it in position, Tighten the neural knob down, slap the battery pack on, throw the pole in, and I'm ready to go. I also leave my rod holders installed, and I've got everything ready to roll. It makes it quick, makes it uh, easy, makes it convenient. Now, obviously, if I'm traveling a long ways, I don't want my gear out here. If I'm staying at hotels and I don't trust uh, the local population to leave my stuff alone, then I'm going to throw it in the camper and lock it up. But for the most part, I'm going to leave my kayak rigged when I'm local, park it in the yard, park it next to the shed, keep it locked up, and uh, I don't have to worry about it too much. So I've become like a big fan. I've actually been a fan for a while, but I've become a really big fan of these gear ties from Night Eyes. These things come in handy for all kinds of stuff. And when I'm traveling and I'm driving down the road, I don't like my seat up in the up position. I don't like it catching bugs and bird crap and things like that so i strap it down with one of these gear ties and then when i get to where i'm going i simply wrap this thing around my trailer arm and it's there to strap the seat back down when i'm when i'm uh 
when I'm ready to take off. Let me grab some of my other gear and outfit the boat and show you how I set it up to get it ready for a day on the water. Let me show you a little tip about transporting your paddles, okay? Your paddle will not go together if this end of the paddle is crushed. So just a little thing that I've had happen to me in the past, especially when you back down hills or if you drive up hills, paddles have a tendency to work their way to the back unless you keep them in some kind of bag. So if you put the blade this way and you put the opening that way, you never have to worry about closing one of these in, their tail, in the tailgate and crushing your paddle. It won't hurt the blade, but if you close that end in your tailgate, it'll probably jack up your tailgate and it'll jack up your paddle. And yes, I am speaking from experience. <laughs> So one of the first things I throw in my kayak is my old trusty anchor ball. This is simply a downrigger ball that I connect to my anchor wizard. I drop it down. The way that it deploys is to crank that, but when I'm stowing it, it locks right in place right there next to my fat grip handle. Once I've got my kayak unstrapped, paddle's installed in the paddle keeper, my anchor ball's installed, throw my PFD on there, I slide it off the trailer, let the back end hit the ground, kick it off to the side, pull out of the way and go park. Now my kayak's not blocking the boat ramp. This is probably gonna sound a little sadistic, but there's nothing quite as um, <coughs> entertaining as watching a giant bass just devour a baby duck. Actually, I take that back. There is something that is as exhilarating and entertaining and that's watching them eat like two or three baby ducks. <laughs> so step one to launching your kayak, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, is to don your PFD. Now, I'm a big dude, so I like to just keep mine so I can just pull it on like a pullover, and then I lock it in place and cinch my straps down, and I'm good to go. Now, I lied to you when I said I was gonna set the boat up completely. Cause that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about fishing today. We're talking about launching your kayak. I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why you should launch it, the way that I'm gonna advise. Then I'm gonna do it and you can take it or leave it. So anyway, this is launching your kayak. All right guys, so one of the biggest mistakes I see people making when launching their fishing kayak is they try to do one of two things. They try to put their kayak in the water parallel to the ramp and then walk down the nose into the boat, which is like walking a tightrope You've got a chance of stepping on your gear, ending up with a hook in your foot, breaking a rod, or flipping your kayak and ending up on top of your head in concrete or shallow water. It's intuitive, I get it. That's how most people wanna do it. The other thing that they try to do is bring it up on the bank and then try to scoot backwards. The problem is once your back end floats up and your keel is sitting on the boat ramp, you're real tippy and you have a chance to flip the boat. So put the kayak in the water, then grab your nose and turn it sideways. Walk it away from you with your paddle, then grab the boat mid, midship and pull it in until it beaches. Now, if you don't want to get your feet wet, you can actually pull it in a little further. And then what you want to do is take your paddle and stabilize yourself, step on the inside. Intuitively, everybody wants to step on the outside, but that's how you end up going out the other side. Step in the boat, put a little weight on the opposite side, and then push off if you like to do a standing launch. A lot of people aren't comfortable doing a standing launch. So if you're not gonna do a standing launch, simply push the boat out just a little bit further. Let me fix my seat strap here. If you're not comfortable doing a standing launch, just push the boat out a little bit further, take your paddle, put it between your legs, or go back over the other side of the boat to stabilize yourself. Should you flip, sit down in the seat, push the boat away, bring your feet in, turn, scoot off the beach, and push off. Now you're ready to go fishing. All right, so the opposite of launching the kayak is recovering. And 90% of the time, what people wanna do is run into the boat ramp, and then again, walk across the tip of the boat. You run the risk of breaking your rod tips, getting a hook in your foot, falling out the kayak. So again, to recover, you wanna do the same thing. You wanna come in. I like to come in at a 45 degree angle with a little bit of speed. And then kind of at the last minute, I like to drag my outside paddle, turn the boat, lean out a little bit, and then end up parallel to the shoreline. After you end up parallel to the shoreline, you can simply stabilize with your paddle. You can stand up in the kayak by grabbing onto the back of the seat, 
which is my preferred method. Put your weight on the inside of the kayak that's on the bank, step off onto dry land, pull your boat in with your foot, grab it with your paddle, and then load it up in reverse. So guys, that's it. Loading, unloading, launching, recovering your kayak. I'm Chad Hoover, kayak bass fishing. Don't be that guy, do it, the, do it this way. Don't launch like this and flip over on your head and don't park in the middle of the boat ramp. And You know what, just drag your kayak because you can and it's not gonna hurt anything.